I think uh, this is a year where we are seeing um, a lot of um, angst. And now that the budget is just around the corner, uh, from the common uh, folks who've really gone through a very difficult year. And there is a hope, and there is, of course, as usual, a long wish list um, that the common man has from this budget. And as always, uh, no, it's, it's, almost, it's almost like a hope against hope, where there is a wish that the rates would change, um, there would be an increase in investment uh, limits and so on. But much beyond that, there is definitely an ask that this has been a year where work from home has really taken off and most employees are really looking for tax breaks um, where such benefits are provided uh, by employers to enable employees to set up uh, a home office facility where there is an additional allowance provided, be it uh, to meet the cost of utilities or to meet the extended uh, internet costs and so on. So I think that's one of the asks which uh, employees have. Uh, there are also a, a few areas where uh, you know, it's, it's important for the government to align. Um, for instance, the, the labor codes are expected to be coming out. Uh, there are various aspects of the labor codes which, could, which needs to be aligned with the Income Tax Act. For instance, if wages for the purpose of PF under the labor code is going to change, then is there going to be a parallel change in the Income Tax Act as well? And there are mandatory benefits which employers are required to provide under the labor codes uh, in the form of crash facilities and so on. So is the Income Tax Act going to reflect a change uh, from a tax perspective on that and so on? So I think there is a need to align these two and that's also an ask um, from this budget. Uh, I think uh, the other area where there is going to be a um, no request for change uh, is definitely going to be um, on the front of stranded employees who've been in India because of the pandemic. While they've been uh, employed overseas and they've come back home, there is a request that this extended stay in India should not really trigger a taxation. We had a limited kind of relief provided for the financial year 1920, uh, but um, the financial year 2021 is where the major impact that we will see because of these extended say, stays. And that is something which the government um, really needs to look at and uh, hopefully provide a relief uh, to the employees. Uh, I think from a senior citizenship, uh, citizens um, uh, time also, uh, they are uh, going to be looking at some kind of a break, uh, which could possibly be um, more reliefs under Section 80D for both medical and insurance uh, benefits, maybe an increased uh, limit for interest reduction and so on. Overall, there is a lot of hope that um, is being expected out of this uh, budget, and we really hope that the budget lives up to all these expectations.